Hey everybody, I'm Nelson. I'm here at Stevens Marine in Tigard, Oregon, here for our first Walk Around Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to take a minute to walk you guys around this new 26-foot Alumwell Pacific. It's a boat that uh, was special ordered in for a customer. It just got here from the factory. Um, it's a great big open fishing platform that still gives you the offshore bracket and the deep V for a good comfortable ride in the ocean, bays, rougher river conditions. Um, it's, it's been a great versatile platform. You'll see a lot of our guides um, running this boat and you'll also see uh, quite a few private parties that spend a lot of time out on the water. Uh, this is a great choice for hardcore fishermen. So I'm gonna take a second, we'll climb inside. We'll show you some of the inside features. Uh, you'll probably see from us again another couple weeks once the motors are on this so you get a little bit more complete feel about the boat. But I wanna show you some of the things that came from the factory on this boat and then we'll get to the motor rigging, electronics, and those things in the weeks to come. So starting up in the front of the boat here, you'll see that on the front step deck, uh, you have lots of storage space, which, you know, dry lockable storage is really a premium in a lot of boats. Um, you're going to have a front storage compartment and a center storage compartment. Either of these is a great place to store gear, safety equipment. Also, we're doing a lot of bow mount riggings on these with Minn Kota bow mounts. So uh, one of these compartments is going to be a great place to put your batteries and your charger. Uh, and then in the most rearward box here, you have a fish box, a two thirds fish box. So you do have just some other storage over here. If you have uh, flyaway mats, knives, cleaning supplies, that sort of thing, it's a nice divided compartment here. So lots of space up front. Oftentimes this diamond plate is an upgrade, but most people go with the diamond plate in this high wear area where you're going to be stepping on and off the boat. And then probably a little hard to see, but even under up under the foredeck, there is another compartment under there for storing ropes, bumpers, uh, components like that up front. So in the seating area here, you'll see that we have the uh, nice, comfortable aluminum weld seats with the armrests on them. Again, lots of storage because each of the seats is on a storage box. Uh, we have the top load locking rod lockers here, so um, you got. Plenty of space for long 10 and a half foot rods for the carpeted uh, rod storage here. Just keep things organized, um, out of sight, out of mind for people that might borrow your gear um, without your permission. Uh, also have this gunnel rubber system here on the sliding rails so you can set up your sliding rod holders uh, and you can always add your rod holder, holder extensions, fillet tables, cup holders, all those things can be added onto the sliding rail system here. So just briefly on the console here, um, you can see we ordered this with just a nice blank canvas. So we're going to be able to set up the steering wheel, the gauges, electronics, um, throttle, all that's going to be incorporated here. We're going to work the, with the customer to lay this out just how they want it so that when they pick the boat up, everything will be just where they want it. Um, this will be something where, again, I think we'll, we'll revisit this here in a couple weeks for you guys so that you can see what it looks like when it's been all rigged up with all of the dealer added options and ready to go out to the customer. All right, so in the back of the boat here, again, we have more storage in the back of the boat. So we have these locking compartments on the open boats. These are gonna be left for yeah, electronics. So you might have your uh, GPS fish finders in there when you don't have the console. Uh, in this case, it's just another nice place to store your tackle boxes. Always nice to have a place to put uh, wallets, cell phones, keys, all those items to have them out of the way in dry lockable storage. Um, you have the big transom fish box. So, you know, you do have the Ford fish box. If you're out there doing some bottom fishing, you know, you have a couple places where people can throw fish regardless of where they are in the boat. But if you're just salmon fishing, it's pretty nice to drop your fish back here in this back box and not have to carry a, you know, bleeding fish all the way to the front of the boat. Uh, does have a wash down plumb front and back. So if you do get a little dirty, you just turn on the hose, hose the whole thing out. So uh, this particular configuration, we went ahead and had the kicker mounted on the offshore bracket. So we're gonna have controls on the console for the kicker and the main motor. Um, the Pacific is available to have kicker mounted at the transom so that you could just sit back here and steer it with a tiller handle as well. But again, with a sort of offshore uh, big water capabilities. It's sort of nice to have both motors back there tied together. Um, again, has the nice 18 degree deep V for cutting through the choppier water. So it's a great Pacific Northwest boat for all over the Columbia River, up in the upper Columbia, 
you know, out in the bays and the ocean. It can really do it all. So uh, we look forward to you uh, joining us for future walk around Wednesdays, including when we revisit this 26 foot of Loomwell Pacific after it's got the Mercury's and electronics on it. Um, make sure to follow us so that you don't miss out on those videos in the future. Thanks for watching.